What's good, everybody? It's your brother, Mad Black, the most dangerous and most toxic black man on the internet. And I am black up in your face again with some more pro-black commentary. So you can kind of consider this like a, a part two or an addendum to the video that I did talking about the Cynthia G excuse. That's where you have these black men online who use the words of Cynthia G or people like her. Or they'll use like something dumb that they see black women do on social media and they'll use that as an excuse to just swear off all black women, right? And this is why they, you know, don't date black women or why they have to go to another country to escape black women, right? So this is kind of like a, a add-on to that. But, uh, you know, those types of guys are extremely hypocritical, in my opinion, because they'll take the words of a Cynthia G or black woman on social media as gospel. And that's their whole excuse for not messing with black women. But the words of a white female, they'll ignore that. Okay. They'll, they'll either make excuses for what the white woman says, or they'll try to, you know, just say, well, that was just that one white woman. That wasn't all of them. You know, all of them ain't bad. You know, and I'll use the example that's going on right now on social media, and that's Pearl, Pearl Davis. You know, she pretty much exposed herself of how racist she is. I mean, I, I told you how racist she was months ago, okay? And I, I want to give a quick shout out to sisters like Lashid for you who called out Pearl months ago. And people like the radical home sister who called out Pearl months ago, you know, that there's, there are black people who understand when they have terrorists in their midst or they got these, these interlopers who come in and are here to not to help black people, but to cause more chaos and to sabotage black people. Okay. There are people who can clearly see that myself included, who will warn you about these 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 uh, dirt bags that fall and fall into, you know, black spaces, but no one wants to listen. And then when they reveal themselves, now you all sit around looking dumb, okay, because you didn't want to listen. You wanted to be a fan of Pearl. You know, Pearl, she was on the men's side in the gender war, so you have to support her. And, you know, no matter what she reveals later on or just, you know, making it more known, I should say, because because that whole thing that she did with the, the white supremacist, Nick Fuentes, that wasn't even that big of a deal. Like I like I, I, I told you her mindset, like when she said, you know, she wants to get her Africans over here so they can work for her more or whatever. I told you that months ago that she was saying that she she was a great white benefactor because she gives these Nigerians money to work on her website. And that's the most money they've ever seen in their lives. So right then and there, I told you just how her racist mindset. Okay. So I wasn't surprised <clears throat> when she got in front of another white supremacist and was just basically regurgitating what she had already said earlier. But, you know, Negroes will see this and they'll just play past it because once again, she's on their side of the gender war and she's a white female, you know, uh, David Carroll and I disagreed on a lot of things. One of the things that we agreed upon was that, you know, black males have an unhealthy obsession with white women. Okay. They, they, he said, like, if you had a race with black women and black men trying to get to a white man and a white woman, black people, they, they would knock each other over trying to race and get to that white person as fast as they could. And sad to say, he was right about that. There are a lot of black males out there that just have such an unhealthy obsession with white people in general and, and white women, and they'll just look past any bad thing that they say or do. Even to the fact that you Negroes will look past all of American history and the destruction that white people have heaped upon black people. 
you Negroes will just ignore all of that. So, so, so check this out. A black woman, well, barely a black, I'll say a black female. I can't call her a woman, but a black female like Cynthia G will get on there with her bald head and say something derogatory about black men and say, like she'll say she wants to abort all black male children and you Negroes will hate all black women because of that. The white man and the white woman create Planned Parenthood and actually abort black male children and have always enjoyed the destruction of the black male, whether it be just outright killing them, castrating them, lynching them, whatever. And you Negroes will still go and be up under some white person's behind. You see what I'm saying? You see how ridiculous that is and how warped that mindset is and how much of a slave you are? Nothing has changed since slavery. You still have Negroes who are completely sycophantic and are like crawling dogs when white people get around. Okay, you have no integrity. You have no dignity in yourself. Just a disgusting human being. If, if, if it was slavery again and, we, and people like myself were plotting a slave revolt, you Negroes would tell. Because you don't want nothing bad to happen to the white folks, especially not those white women. You want to protect them. You want to make sure they stay safe, right? So, you know, I wasn't surprised by all the Negroes that have come out to support Pearlie. I told you that was going to happen. You know, I told you that they're either going to look past it or they're going to agree with her. And you had a whole bunch of Negroes coming out there putting on their Spartan helmet and their shield to do all they can to defend Miss Pearlie. Okay, that because that's what they call her. They call her Miss Pearlie. I don't call her that. And you know what's funny is like they're they're working so hard to defend her, and she's not even giving any of these Negroes any for a license fest to draws. You know, it's like at least I can understand if she was giving you a little something on the side. You know, I don't agree with that either, but at least I could understand it if, if that was going on. But you you Negroes not not even getting that. You're just simping for her just for the sake of simping and, and for the sake of upholding this shaky-ass foundation that is the manosphere. You Negroes will uphold these white devils, these white male devils in the manosphere and want them to come on your show and big them up and praise them. And then those guys just, just shit on you all the time. You, like, you don't realize that one of the things that, that, that coalesces them within their white manosphere is their hate of you. They don't want black men there. They want to erase black men. Like you guys just don't get the the overtone of racism from these white males. And you just go along with it. I know, you know, there's, there's well, the F boys, fresh and fit. Of course, they don't, you know, they don't hate white men. They, they like to snuggle up with white men. I literally found pictures of, what's his name, fit, snuggled up with a bunch of white boys in the bed. And, you know, Negroes will just ignore stuff like that and make it seem as if, well, they still got some good points. See? So you'll go along with it as long as they support your side in the manosphere. You don't care how effed up these people are. You don't care if these people have any integrity. You don't care how dainty these people are. You talk, you talk about wanting to be alpha male and support a manhood, and these are some of the most unmanly males I've ever seen in my damn life. All of them are moist. Uh, doesn't matter if these females are just overtly racist towards you. You'll still support them and lift them up over your head. I heard, what's his name, uh, Obsidian. You know, I, I, I called out that buffoon a long time ago. I'm talking about years ago, even before Pearlie came on the scene, I called that buffoon out for being a coon. I called him out even a second time when he was out here talking about Miss Pearlie is that is that B word and how much he loved her and how she'll she'll cook collard greens and back that ass up and cook and clean and all this other nonsense, you know? And he was out there again, even after this, all this stuff has been exposed about Pearlie, he's out there again defending her, which is no surprise. Someone called him obsimpian. 
That that's a good name for him. I heard some black women calling him that, Obsimpian. That's a great name for him because that's what he is—a big old buck simp for Miss Pearlie, a straight buck dancing buffoon. You know, bucks gonna buck, bucks gonna buck dance. You know, you can't stop these Negroes from doing it, and it's, it's, it was disgraceful and despicable to see that, but not out of the realm of reality. I, I knew it was coming. Okay. And don't be surprised how many of these Negroes will get out there and fall on their sword for this white woman. Because, like I said, these Negroes have an unhealthy obsession with white females to the point where no matter what white females have done to you in the past, accused you of rape, gotten you lynched, stabbed you, killed you, shot you, no matter what they've done to you over the years, you'll still go ahead and be up under one's nasty, lice-infested panties. But... If a black woman says something about you on social media, that means she's evil and all the other black women are evil for the rest of eternity. And, you know, I I even have to give it to some of the black women out there who have called you Negroes out on your hypocrisy, because you you all look stupid right now defending Pearlie, but your hypocrisy and the fact that you talk about, you know, wanting to defend marriage and, you know, just want a, a feminine woman to choose, you know, marriage and, and being a mate over their career. Miss Pearlie chose to get herself a YouTube career. She's not married. She doesn't have a man in her life. She's got a high body count. And no matter what she says, it's probably higher than what she even say, she puts out there. But she's been honest enough at least to say that she's not a virgin. She's been getting bust down and letting white dudes, black dudes, and every other dude run up in that nasty backside of hers, that little flat board backside of hers. And, you know, you Negroes don't criticize her for that. It's it's all good just because she supports, quote unquote, your side of the gender war. Now, you Negroes, all, all those criteria that you have for black women, all that stuff goes out the window when it, when it comes to Miss Pearlie. And you'll support her no matter what, what type of nonsense comes out about her. You know, it could come out that she has Negroes tied up in her basement and whipping them. And, and they're still you'll have Negroes still supporting them after that. It could come out that she aborted a black. She got pregnant by some black guy and aborted the child. And Negroes will still support her after that. Like I said, unhealthy obsession with white females. Okay. I'm almost. Well, you know what? I, I agree with, with Umar Johnson on this. I don't often agree with him, but I agree with him that, you know, uh, these types of interracial relationships with uh, blacks and whites should be outlawed again because you Negroes just can't handle it. OK, you can't handle it. Your minds are just all mixed up and you can't uh, discern reality when you get around white women. So you shouldn't have any relationship with them. It should be banned. OK, it should be illegal again for you to, for you two to even cohabitate. Because you don't know how to mentally handle it. And it, and you've proven it with all your buffoonery surrounding uh, Pearl Davis and supporting all these other white bigots in the manosphere, the white manosphere. So you guys let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. I'd like to hear your opinions on this. And this is Mad Black, and I will be back with my foot on a devil's back. Ain't nothing worse than a bitch ass nigga. 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 Just the word up, you get hurt up.